Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and welcome to a new video. So today we are talking about five fragrances that I regret purchasing. I don't know if this video is actually made a lot on YouTube. Typically a lot of people are posting their favorite fragrances, but no one really talks about the ones that they bought and they actually hate it. So I'm here to let y'all know about mine. I actually really would love to start a conversation about this. If you guys have any fragrances that you own that you actually completely regret buying, please leave a comment below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay y'all, so the number one on my list is not really a secret because I literally have a video on my channel. I'll link it somewhere on the screen card above. It's literally a whole review of me bashing the fragrance for like five minutes straight. And the name of the fragrance is Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. Now, some people might really enjoy it but I believe the overall consensus for this fragrance was that it essentially smelled like a nursing home. It was a very feminine and strong fragrant scent however the smell itself just aged you completely and honestly like if I never smell that scent again that still wouldn't be enough. Like the fact that a scent like that even exists on this earth is baffling to me because I actually hear it so much. I let my boyfriend try it on and it actually smelled a little bit better on him. I think that maybe it works better with male chemistry overall but unless you are above the age of 50 I just feel like this is a fragrance you should stay away from because it just ages you like I think if you're an older more mature woman the fragrance is perfect for you the sillage is beautiful it lasts long like it's a Tom Ford fragrance they're known for making good scents you know what I mean but that fragrance itself I think it was a big mistake it was a part of like their cherry series line I believe but once again all the information on that fragrance itself and my in-depth thoughts are in the video above so make sure to check that out but yeah that one had me by surprise because I I just could not have believed that something like that exists but it does so we move <laughs> the next fragrance on the list is musk noir by narcisco rodriguez it's not that it smells bad at all it actually smells pretty pleasant i actually still have this scent its main function was like my everyday scent because i just felt like it was very underwhelming i will say that it was a blind purchase and you know i kind of just looked up the reviews online i was like oh this seems like a great scent based off of the notes that i like because i love warm floors with a little bit of muskiness in there it actually is completely aligned with what I enjoy I just think that it's just very underwhelming you know what I mean it's one of those fragrances that it's probably worth its price I just feel like that is a fragrance that I could have maybe even made on my own with just using perfume oils but overall it's not an impressionable scent it does smell good like I would get small compliments on it here and there because I wore it every day so essentially it is a great everyday fragrance but it's almost like lotion right like if you wear a pretty well fragranced lotion like probably matches your body chemistry well and you're probably a compliment on it so I don't think that for the price it was worth it it was just very under to me like I'd probably give it like a B minus you know what I mean like mm, I would never repurchase it again but it means a lot to me because my partner purchased it so you know it's just one of those things that's like ah uh, you know happy to have it but would never purchase again the next fragrance on my list is Tom Ford Oud Wood now this fragrance I no longer have it because I ended up giving it away. It is a beautiful oud smell for men, but I think because I bought it for myself, it's just way too strong for me, like way too masculine presenting for my liking and I think for maybe women in general, unless you mix it with something a little bit sweeter, it was just too much for me. And even for men, like it's just very strong and so you have to be very careful not to overspray it. One or two pumps is good enough, you know what I mean saying, but the sillage is great, it lasts super long long once again it's Tom Ford fragrance so they did a great job with the formula but I think this is just a fragrance that I personally regret purchasing because one the cost right it was pretty expensive for the fragrance itself and you know as much as I tried to make it work for me you know by mixing it with another fragrance when I wear it on my body the oud wood was just so strong and overpowering that it was not worth it to try to dilute the fragrance it's either you're gonna wear it on its own or you're just not gonna wear it and so I ended up just not wearing it and not to the point that I was like you know what I think that there's someone else who would benefit from this more so I gave it away but overall it's a great 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 fragrance for men you just have to be careful because it's very strong but for women personally I think for my preference it was just way too overpowering and I just don't like fragrances that are like headache inducing you know like it was almost headache inducing and I just was like nope 
I'm good off this one. <laughs> the next fragrance on my list is actually a lot of people's favorites, but it is the Billie Eilish Original Perfume. This one was another one that was very underwhelming for me for multiple reasons. Um, primarily being because it literally smells like a straight vanilla fragrance, nothing more, nothing less, meaning that you could get an even stronger version of that by just using perfume oils and I can guarantee it would last longer. The perfume itself wasn't expensive, which makes sense. I think, you know, it literally smells like vanilla, like how much can you charge for vanilla presenting fragrance, right? So I think it was like 45 or so, but once again, there's no need to pay that much for the fragrance when you can just get an organic vanilla body oil and just have that as your fragrance, your everyday fragrance, and it would do the same job and last even longer, right? So mm, once again, just underwhelming. I understand why people love it. Vanilla is very versatile. You know, it smells good. It's a great fragrance to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but it just didn't do it for me. <laughs> it didn't do it for me. So I returned that one quickly, actually, very quickly. And the last fragrance on my list is actually a company that I did a video review over maybe a year and a half ago, and it is the El Nabil fragrances, y'all. I know, shocker, maybe, because in the video, I actually did have some fragrances that I enjoyed and I was excited to use, but after some time, I realized that these fragrances are just not the best fragrances for like a young adult. I think they are great for maybe someone at the middle school, high school age, so maybe below the age of 18 or so who is first getting introduced to fragrances. But if you're looking for fragrances that you can really wear over time, it actually ends up smelling pretty cheap in my opinion. If that's something that you enjoy, then to each their own, no judgment here, but me personally, I just, I'm gonna gift them to my little sister who's 17. Like that's just, what has to happen because I can't use them, you know? So yeah, y'all, these are the fragrances that I regret buying. Overall, for the most part, I'm really happy with my fragrance collection. I'm really happy with the purchases I've made, but I just had to single these out because they did a number on me, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my channel for more fragrance content or just lifestyle, fitness, health, and beauty related content. Make sure to subscribe and hit the post notification bell for my future uploads. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. I gave you taste of my love, fact I've been standing there for you Got you saw the work that I got, I could be holding back from you